Hello everyone, we are doing uh, rigging in Blender and we have uh, placed our meta rig onto the character and now we are going to look at uh, how to uh, create the controls. So we'll go to object mode and go down and click on generate rig. And this will create the control rig. Uh, and then we can hide our bones, which is the meta rig. Okay. Now, if you select uh, our skin and look at uh, the vertex groups, there are no vertex groups. But if you shift select the rig and hit Control P with automatic weights, we have generated vertex groups and if you go to pose mode now if you move the controls the character is animating we'll turn this off and now you can see that the character is bending properly so we'll go to object mode and now we can select this character go to modify panel and we can also add subdivision surface so that the character behaves properly okay same thing we'll do with the jacket, you select this and hit Ctrl P, automatic weights and then we can add subdivision surface and keep doing the same thing for all the objects in the scene. Okay, now uh, if you look at uh, the pose mode and if you move the eyes are not moving even though the eyebrows are moving okay and you can study the rig also you can see that you can create bends in the thighs and bones Now what we will do is we will see how to rig the, uh, attach the eyes so that the eyes move. So what we need to do is, um, uh, also important thing is to understand how the layers work. So if you see that you can hide all the layers and now you will only see the different controls. So they are placed in different layers. And also there are different bones that are created okay so you can see that the last layer has the eye bone all right so what we need to do is we need to go to object mode select the eye then shift select the rig go to both mode shift select this eye and hit ctrl P and we can say bone and then we have to do the same thing with the other eye so go to object mode, select the eye, shift select the rig, go to pose mode, select this eye and hit control P and bone. Okay. So now if you look at this, the eyes will start following so you can animate your eyes individually the character can look around okay now the, if you look at your jaw when you open the mouth our teeth where is our teeth
the teeth and the tongue are not moving so what we need to do is we need to do the same thing for the teeth so we'll go to object mode select the face uh, the body and we'll hide the body so the teeth are visible for some reason the teeth have moved from its place the teeth should be So we'll select the controls. I can go to the this, this one and select this teeth. Strip select this. Right, go to pose mode. Select this teeth. And then we need to select the corresponding bone and control P bone. Go to object mode. Select this. Top one, strip select this, go to pose mode, and select the top tongue, control P, bone. So now, when we go back and rotate the jaw, the teeth moves with it. Okay, now the tongue has to be parented with automatic weight okay and then go to pose mode the tongue will start moving but the tongue is not weighted properly so again we'll go to object mode select the tongue hit the tab mode uh, we will add the uh, modifier for the tongue, subdivision surface, to and hit the tab, and go to the vertex groups and search for tongue bones. So this is our tongue bone, we'll go to object mode, we'll go to weight paint, and then you can see that We'll go to object mode and hide this and hide this okay so we have selected the tongue we are in object mode we have selected the tongue bones we'll go to weight paint so the weight is 100 percent and then the radius is say, 90 so big brush and then we will paint our tongue so that it will be affected by the the front bone okay, I'm going to do this real quick so that you understand what is happening but when you go to tongue 2 we need to do it in the middle then tongue 3 will be the end can also hide the hair so we can add the weighting of the tongue so the tongue behaves properly when the jaw moves okay so I'm doing this roughly but this should solve most of the problems so now when you go to pose mode and rotate the tongue, rotate the jaw, the tongue moves properly. Okay, and we hit the teeth, so the teeth move properly also. And then if you open the body, then you can see that the character is behaving properly now. Okay, now you can see that the jacket is moving. 
So again, you go to object mode, select the jacket, go to weight paint, and now you need to look at all these bones and see which bones are affecting the jacket. Then anything other than the spine should not be affecting the jacket. So you can see that now the chin bone. So we'll see weight has to be zero, and then we will remove the weights that are affecting the jacket. Okay. Select the jaw and start looking at. See, this is affecting this jacket a lot, so we'll have to remove those weights from the jacket and then the jacket will stop moving. So you will have to do a, quite a bit of weight painting just to make sure that things are moving the way they should be and anything else is not moving. Okay. So this is affected by upper shoulder. And then you can increase the weight to say 0.5 and then add a little bit more. Upper shoulder, you can add more weight here. You can add more weight here. Add more weight here. So we are removing weight from bones that should not affect these areas, and we are adding weight to bones that should affect the area. Okay, so right shoulder we can add a little bit here, and we can add a little bit here. Okay, so let us look at this now and then I'm doing this real quick. It will take some time to work on these things, but you get the idea of how you can do and then you can see that it, it has been reduced. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, how to make the eyes blink. So we'll go to object mode, select the face and then go to shape keys. Okay, we'll add a shape key, then add one more and we'll say eyes. Okay, and then we will go to edit mode. We'll turn the trying to see if we can make it mirror on the other side it looks like we cannot we'll have to do it individually so what what we do is we'll select these and then we'll turn this on to select the ones in the back make sure nothing other than the eyes are selected and then you can turn the proportionate editing then you can move it down then you can decide how much it is going to be the influence and you can select these and move it up and then slowly slowly you will have to take your own time to do this Then close the eyes, move the top vertices down more, then the down vertices up. Okay, but surely make sure that you move the 
is also up. That's about it. Go to object mode. Then when you change the value, you get eye blink. Okay. And then you will have to do the same thing with the eyebrows. You'll have to animate the eyebrows a little bit, adding shape keys. So you can add a shape key. And then say eye blink. Then you edit more and in the blink. Okay, and then move it slightly down. Okay, and then you can move these also a little bit. Okay, and then as the eyes blink, this will also blink. And then what you can do is you can select these and then control J them. You should do it before so that you don't have to worry about animating the eyes and the eyebrows separately but you can do when you animate the eyes you can animate the eyebrows at the same time so that's about it thank you very much